All right, hello everyone and welcome to my shameless dive. Today we've got a game which you may have seen before. Um, <laughs> it's World Box, a god simulator. Um, this uh, game is a god simulator as it says, and it looks quite interesting, so I figured why not give it a go. Um, I'll admit I did see the video by many a true nerd and, and had to be, I just, I just had to try it myself. I really did, because it looks really fun and interesting, despite the fact it does not have any, uh, you know, music to it. So, uh, yeah! Um, but still, it seems pretty cool. So, um, one thing he didn't show is anything to do with the introduction how you start the world up, so, uh, yeah. Um, my plan is I'm going to give a little look to most of the gameplay and most of what you can do, and maybe spend some time, might pause and, and unpause this video a few times, you never know how long this will take, to be honest, but should be fun. So yeah. Oh, hello there. I'm the tutorial bear. Take a moment to hear me out. Super World Box is a game about creation and destruction. The controls are simple. Where's diff, arrows, mouse, they all move the camera. Q and E controls the zoom. And you can press 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 to select the power tabs. <laughs> Escape quits the game. All your powers are at the bottom panel. So here are the important buttons. This is a save button. Use it to save and load your worlds. Custom worlds. You can create a world with a bigger size. World laws. Customize the rules for your worlds. Drawing. Tools to create your world. You change the brush size. This button will be on the left. You can create civil villages and mess with kingdoms. Creatures and monsters. Looking for dragons? This is where they go. Natures and disasters, there's also some tools to help your civilizations. Destruction powers, here you can find bombs and nukes. Um, other various powers are found in the menus. There's so much more stuff in there, try them out and experiment. Enjoy the game, love the creator. Okay. Um, so first thing I did notice, uh, uh, many children did not, um, did not lo uh, zoom in that far. And see why, it doesn't really add much to zoom in too much. But, oh, okay, that's a nice touch. The uh, the changeover from the high resolution to low resolution, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, that's pretty nice. Now, first of all, I want to create a new world, because why wouldn't I? I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, okay, iceberg is clearly the largest. I, I definitely want that, gotcha. All right, small islands, how many islands? Why do I only want, like, a few? Yeah, let's get a few. Okay, and water level? No, okay, 10% is fine. I'm actually not sure what will happen, but let's see. So, iceberg size! Alright, that's, um, relatively sizable, I, I guess. I gotta say I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger, but, you know. Hmm, in fact... Let's try turning up the number of islands and turning down the water level. There's no reason not to play around a bit, is there? I just want less... I, I want less, um, less land. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, so we've got some dark fire lands to the south. We've got some, um, some savanna. We've got a lovely little forest in the middle and we've got jungle or... Or something like thicker forest, a yeah, jungle over here, and we've got some mushrooms and some more mushrooms because you can never have enough mushrooms. We got a small little island here. Fair enough. I think this works. Now, let's see what the laws can be. So statistics. Okay, statistics. Yep. Yeah, okay. World laws. Okay. So diplomacy, random events, kings can declare wars and treaties. That sounds fun. Rebellion, sailors can rebel. Yep, that seems fair. Kingdom expansion, we'll send settlers to expand send new, new villages, sounds good. Stealing borders, I mean, yeah, obviously. Angry villages will also participate in some race wars. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> okay. I mean, I've got to turn on just for a simple sake of that. Okay, so mobs, animals spawn, animals can fall wildly, and animals and creatures when attacking. Meh. Creatures can die from old age, yep. Everyone needs food to live. Okay, so, grow grass, grass will go by itself. Biomes overgrowth. 
biome grass uh, would try to grow, uh, grow each other. That makes sense. Grow trees, yep. Eternal lava. Lava would stay forever and not cool off to rock. That's cool, but weird. Erosion, yeah. Natural disasters, yes. Other disasters. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Let's let's see what happens there. Okay, so let's see what else there is. Favorites, inspect, world history. All right. So we have a lovely little world here. Fair enough. It's interesting you can't seem to create them from scratch. Although, can I build outside of? No, I can't build outside. Hmm, okay, okay, okay. So, what have we actually got that we can do here? We can put shallow waters, deep ocean, and close ocean. So that must be shallow, deep, uh, close, deep, yeah. We can put plain soil, hills, mountains, forest soil, okay. Yeah, so these these reasonable, really. Can I just make a very... Actually, that's a good point. There's no mountains on this map, are there? Let's make some mountains. Let's make some hills and some mountains. So, here we go. Nice big wasteful land there for, for the hills. And then the mountains on top. There we go. I and mean, that, that's fair, I guess. Um, and we'll put some maybe. Let's put some over here. Just uh, I'm going to make that into a volcano. No, oh, there's, there's lava lands there, so that makes sense. Put a rock over here. Maybe some. Low hills up here. Maybe a little bit of low hill over here. So really just drawing on the map. Fair enough. Got sickles, sponge, okay, so nothing like that. Okay, so kingdoms. Okay, actually there's a couple more here. There's some secrets under development. Ooh. Ooh. So there's gonna be more than just these kingdoms. Who are they though? Wait, ooh, actually, culture layer. Okay, because you got cultures. You've got kingdoms, you've got villages, and you've got friendship, inspiration, and spite. Okay, kings and leaders, boats, okay, culture this, okay. So this is all more stats than anything else, so there's nothing I can do here yet. Okay, let's see, ooh, there's lots of different things right here though. Like, literally, ooh, Godfinger, multiplayer simulator. Wait, what? Oh, does that put a god that goes around and does stuff? Oh, that's pretty cool. Ah, oh, bees, okay. First thing we need to bring to the world is bees, because bees make everything better. So let's put some bees down. God says, let there be bees. So I'm going to say, let there be bees, because every world is better if there are bees. I don't know if, I don't believe, oh wait, that one, oh, I had beehives. Well, you know, I was going to say, I don't believe, I don't know if uh, mushrooms need bees, but apparently mushrooms already receive bees. So that's fine. Let's just give everyone some bees. Okay, maybe not the firelands. The firelands are pretty dark and scary. Alright, um, so what else can we build here? What else can we build? Butterflies? Yeah, that's not really. Rats, flies, grasshoppers, all those things seem. Let's matter into sand and ocean pixels. Interesting. Creates mountains and sand. Oh. Well, I kind of just want to put a good one of these here. I don't know what you're going to do. Creates sand and then dies. Creates square like patterns. Crawls underground and messes up the landscapes. I feel like the worm might be good for the fire nations in the fire area. Oh yes, that's a, that's a literal sandworm that I've just created. Okay, fair enough, except it's now a lava worm, which is infinitely scarier. Um, what else do we have here? We've got Cybercore. Assimilate. Well, these people are saying go later. Plague Doctor. Necromancer. Evil Mage. I do feel it's a little bit weird to put... Um, Put those sort of animals in play before we even put some um, put some hum humans. But let's put in some um, things which uh, make some sense in each area. So a couple of hyenas make sense for the savannas. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's put a couple of hyenas down. I know it can probably spawn them themselves, but it's okay. Um, put some dogs down in the... There we go. Oh, cows. We need cows. Here you go. Lots of cows. It goes moo. Doesn't say meow. Huh. I, I, I feel like things are... I, I thought... Never mind. Anyway, sheep. Okay, I love the bearing. Yep, that's pretty good. I think everyone needs some sheep, yes. Okay, maybe not that island. However, this island would be nice for a couple of uh, rabbits. I wonder if they'll do what rabbits do and uh, breed. 
There's rhinos and buffaloes and oh boy! Let's put a bunch of buffaloes in there with the hyenas. I'm sure they'll get along swimmingly, right? Okay. And we got some rhinos, so I guess we'll just put those around randomly too. Ooh, crabs. Okay, we need lots of crabs. That should be a crab beach. This whole beach will all be crabs. There we go, crabs. I don't know what will happen to crab beach, but uh, no matter what happens, we have crabs. I mean, I guess technically the crabs go elsewhere. Let's have some backup crabs. Although, gotta say, dude, you're doing a pretty good job at making your mountain. Like, good job, bro. Good job. I'm so proud of you. A <laughs> king rat. I mean, okay, let's just put a king rat just like here. I mean, how bad could it be? And a few foxes. All right. Now, I suppose we've got a kind of, um... Ooh, Swamp Land's gonna have some alligators. And penguins. I mean, I do feel like maybe there's not really great spaces in the world for penguins, but, uh, wait. Oh, what? The sandworms are moving away from... Oh, dear. I thought they'd stay in the lava area, but apparently, uh... That's just an issue that this world has now. Okay, I uh, may have made some mistakes. I also feel like as much as penguins are great, um... I feel bad about putting them here, so... Ooh. Turtles. Yes. 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 Ooh, and piranhas. Okay. Let's put some piranhas in the water. That seems lovely. And some snakes. Here you go. Have some be little coil boys. Danger noodles. There we go. Fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic. Ooh, and frogs. Um, I feel like frogs would probably do best. Maybe... No, not in Crab Island. I feel the crabs really need their own space, you know? The frogs can be here in their own little space. There we go. Alright, now I guess the question then becomes, who do we want to live here? And where do we want them to live? Ooh, this is a beautiful little place, isn't it? Very... Um, emphasis on little, though, so it's not really that great. Eh, that could work for someone. Let's say I could put an elf there. Put an elf over here. Okay, I feel like I've got to give everyone a similar sized island. Which probably means elves, humans, maybe orcs down here. So you know, dwarves should go here because I've got to give them a massive, island, a massive thing here. Hmm. Maybe I, actually, you know what? I'm gonna give humans probably one of the worst spots. So let's make two humans. So they'll get to hopefully make friends. We'll make two elves. Exactly, dibbly boo. Now the orcs, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't even know how this is gonna work to be honest. But uh, good luck, guys. I feel bad about that one to be honest. I, I feel like I'm I'm unfairly stereotyping orcs. And then the, I think I think it's safe to say that um, oh, I got an achievement. Nice. I think it's safe to say that the uh, dwarves have the uh, nicest start. Like, they've got cows everywhere and massive mountains. Um, followed closely by the elves. There's already a couple of elves, which is nice. Now, speaking of, can I actually have a look at culture zones? So, I want to see cultures, I want to see villages. So, village layer, kingdom layer. Okay. So, currently, we only ha we have these four areas. Wait, what? I didn't drop a piranha on land. I'm pretty sure what happened was uh, one of my many land-altering things, such as this crab that is um, that this ant that is simultaneously building its own mountain over here. Um, probably just like, yeah, okay, or one of the many worms that is uh, completely destroying the world right now. Despite the fact, you know, I I really wasn't expecting that level of evil from it, but I guess it's just me. In fact, while we're talking about making things, um, let's let's put a dragon on this beautiful island here. Um, oh no, uh, uh, um, excuse me, friend. Uh, I'm sorry, but I can't have you attacking my people just yet. Um, die! <laughs> Please die! It's just, I mean, 
I'm I okay, good. Hey, no one will ever no archaeologist will ever try and work out what caused that, I swear. Alright, now what else can I do here? Hot spring. Ooh. Intermittently boils water. Okay, well I thought there's something maybe suitable here. Okay. Acid dry. Ooh, volcano. I can put volcanoes on here. Oh yes. Now will you stay there or do I have to like put you up randomly? Oh, it's raving lava? Okay, that sounds fun. Ooh. Okay, I wasn't expecting it to be so, uh, aggressively noisy, to be honest. Um, also, uh, I can't help but feel like I'm screwing over my world still, but I mean the worm's doing that for me. In fact, uh, Okay, um, I might just, uh, cancel that before it completely- Never mind, I can't- I can't cancel it. Okay, I've- I've made some mistakes, um, in life. Uh, so there's that. Um, yeah, let's put some ore down for the- the walls. So, I think I purely, um, I clearly get- I clearly my chosen people at this point, um, because they have a beautiful place. There we go. Oh, what else can I do here? Plants, fertilizer, infernal seeds. Corrupted seeds. Ooh, there's a spooky biome? Why haven't we got a spooky biome? Okay, well, let's convert this other mushroom, this other mushroom kingdom into the spooky biome. Yes, please. That sounds great. And I, I hope I'm not killing anyone by doing this. Um, but yeah, no, it looks like it's spreading itself. I'm, once again, not sure if I should be concerned by that. But, uh, no, we need a spooky biome. Better than a magical mushroom biome. What else do we have here? Enchanted spe Okay. That must be this one down the bottom here. So it's got like two seeds on it. Savannah seeds. Okay. We've got lava, which uh, I, I admit, um, yeah, I've already kind of screwed up my, my world a little bit. Oh! Oh, you're just creating lava like forever. Okay. Um, I'm sure that's not bad. Okay, let's just, uh, let's just move somewhere else. Um, what else do we have here? Bowling ball. Antimatter bomb. Okay. Atomic bomb. Bomb. Grenade. Fuse. Fireworks. Huh. Landmine. Okay, I feel like I can't do that yet. Ooh, there's lots of other powers too. <gasps> okay, so we've got, um, meh, 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 meh. Divine magnet. Okay, I probably could have done that to get rid of the... Okay, miracles reserve things. Creatures are mad and start fighting each other. That's not good. Curse, blessing, the plague. I feel like I just want to, yeah. Let's let, let the world explode explode a little bit first. So I still don't know what's going to happen now, and I also don't really know if it's, it's already speed up the game. Oh god, you can tell this used to be a flash game, huh? Uh. Okay. Ooh, experimental mode. What? I mean, I don't have them, but like, I might as well take it for later, you know? Alright, now, um, world laws. Okay, so uh, do we have a way of speeding up time? Or is it best to just, uh, pause things? Don't know. Ah, oh, there we go. Change the flow of time. Let's make it three times. All right, so now let's have a little look around. So we've, um, realistically, the people with the most space to expand are clearly the dwarves and the elves. The humans don't have very much space to expand, but they are incredibly safe up there. So as long as they don't, like, collapse or anything, we should be good. I mean, they, as long as they don't kill each other. I mean, that's if we could work out if they had names or anything. Ultra layer, kingdom layer. Village layer. Okay. Ah, map names. There we go. Alright, so we've got the Una, 17, the humans. We have the Opora, 8. Um, <laughs> honestly, I, I do feel like um, I was expecting more from you guys. Just, just saying. Wait, what are you?
I don't even remember what you guys are. So I put the orcs down in this terrible place, and they're doing pretty well for themselves. I put the dwarves over here. Oh, did I accidentally make a second lot of dwarves? Is that what this is? Because I didn't try to make a second lot of dwarves. Are you guys dwarf? I can't tell. You must be. Well, unfortunately, that um, that's a, that posed a little problem to me because I didn't want to have two of the same same group around, and they definitely didn't spawn themselves. Um, well, I, I mean, I suppose I've got to really deal with this problem, don't I? Um, hmm. Uh, let's just try a, an antimatter bomb. Whoa! Okay, that that was a lot more. Once again, historians who look at this um, will not know anything about this because um, yeah, I'm going to just try and cover my tracks. Uh, here, here you go, guys. Uh, just please. Yes, please fill that in for me. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Um, I'm sure I won't live to regret that. Okay. So, um, I accidentally killed a, uh, an, an empire which shouldn't exist. Um, so that's fine. The humans are actually probably doing the best despite their smallest start, which is interesting, interesting. Now, I also must hasten to add that uh, those worms are doing a... Uh, a mighty fine job of screwing up my beautiful world, so... Bravo, worms! Bravo! Ooh, did... Okay, let's go have a check at each of our kingdoms and see how each of them are doing. So, first of all, the humans who have the highest point total, they've also got the smallest land. So, is there a way I can check on what the humans actually do? Like, if I click on one of them, can I learn anything about you guys? So, view kingdom. Alright, I can. So, you're the Una. In life we believe. Oh, that's nice. They're pleasant. Diplomat? Yeah, that seems like a beautiful place, doesn't it? Population? Loyalty? Um, is that loyalty to me? Or is it loyalty to the... Oh, it must be loyalty to the kingdom. I was going to say, I'm going to say, they shouldn't even know I exist. Okay, and what does, what's that going with this? Is this science? Yes, it is. So, so they invented houses. Good job. They invented cultural spread one and cultural conversion. And they're currently working on weaponry, which, um, to be honest, guys, you're probably the last people who'll need the weaponry, but okay, fair enough. Let's see how the elves are going. So, they are the Yonora of the Earth. Their, their houses, naturally, look slightly different. So do their population. Um, they're running out of food, apparently, which isn't, isn't fantastic. Apparently, they want some berries. So, uh, maybe I should actually give them some berries. I don't know if there are berries that spawn. I don't know if they can farm berries or what. So maybe I should actually give them some berries to sort of um, allow them to survive, you know? Okay, so. Yeah, that's why they weren't doing so well. So, they now have berries, which should hopefully help. But, what else do we need? So, they have got... Let's have a look at their kingdom. With stone we live. Okay, that's an odd choice. That feels more like a dwarfy thing, but fair enough. There's a king. Um, that is also a diplomat. Okay, they're both peaceful people, which is... Surprising, which is quite good, I suppose. And they too are working on weapons. However, they did not look at they did not do the same technology tree as the humans entirely. They know sharp axes to help them cut down trees even more effectively. So interesting. They they plan more for cult tree cutting. Um in comparison to these guys, because they had cultural, they had cultural and they had cultural conversion. So I wonder if they want to just try and expand very quickly. Their favorite food is tea. Well, I'm sorry to tell you guys. Uh, okay, so a few people. Okay, we just need to add some berries for everyone. Let's just add some berries for everyone. Um, I'm not sure why that's making scary noises, but there must be a storm somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so we checked on two of our empires now. So the elves are doing all right. They're doing a lot better now. They've learned farming apparently because they didn't think they had any farming before. Okay. Well, they can farm. They didn't even need my berries. Okay, fair enough. Alright, the orcs. Wow, you know what, guys? I know your empire is a little bit smaller than the other two, but damn! You're doing really well for being in a fiery hellscape. Good job. 
Not to mention the uh, random worm attacks. Okay, so. They are from the Blood of Ang. Who are militarists. Well, I mean, that's kind of expected from orcs. I know I shouldn't be so stereotypical. Um, they have went down the line of the humans, and they are also working on weapons. Well, I mean, I guess I guess everyone's working on weapons, even though they don't, they don't know if anyone's there besides themselves. I, I see, think the orcs are the most reason to, because they're in the only outwardly hostile territory. Um, but sure. All right, now let's tell you the, uh, the, um, the wolves, who I gave the most um, direct help to. So they have cows, they have all sorts of things. They have bugs, apparently. Okay. It's called the U. Okay, so. These guys are called the Apora, and they're also diplomats. Okay, so this is going to be quite a peaceful game, I'm sure. And, um, wow, they've actually already invented weapons, and they're now working on something else. Um, so I'm not sure what, like, a weapon mount mastery, perhaps? Like, they've already got weapons, and they're working on weapon mastery. So, yeah, weapon production. But what are they working on now? can't tell. It also says there's rare knowledges. So obviously there are some technologies that um, can only be learnt by a couple, like you can only learn a couple of them. That's interesting. Okay, so that seems okay, I suppose. So I mean, all the all the empires are pretty um, close in, in terms of population, but I gotta say the humans, um, for an empire that doesn't have that much um, space to expand to, they're going really well with their population. Also, I noticed that the dwarves have actually split off, and there's two separate, um, like, elements to this city. Are they two separate cities, I wonder? Let's check, because if we go here... If we go here, sorry. Yeah, there's two. They've got two. They've got Bahia and Deg Sahir. So, now, it should be said, they're a little bit off in terms of they're not exactly friends, but... You know, that's the best way to expand, I suppose. The elves haven't started to expand. They're pretty content in living together, which is fair. The orcs seem pretty content in living together. The humans don't have any choice of the matter. Fair enough. Let's have a look around the humans. So they've got, a, they've got a small military that's formed. So they must have researched their military now. They have. They're now researching better houses. Oh, sword. Okay. That makes sense. So they're researching better houses, apparently. I feel like you might want to get into boats pretty quickly, if you can, if not, I'll have to help you. Um, let's see here, so, the elves, they're, they're also working on swords now, so, I feel like everyone is, is going down the same basic path of technology right now. Wow, the orcs, I mean, I shouldn't be surprised, because they're also in death area, um, but they are the furthest behind when it comes to technology. However, oh, peaceful pacifist, okay, lovely. I like these people, they seem nice. Although they are also inventing swords, so, you know, fair enough. Alright, so the blood, the orcs down the south, they are, they have also separated to a separate um, settlement, which is probably a good thing, because it probably means that they can sort of, yeah, expand a little bit faster. So yeah, that seems good. Let's um, increase this flow of time a little bit more. Let's go to five times. There we go. And let's just watch. So the humans are... Still the largest. That is really surprising. Like, I would have expected the elves to probably expand the most because they're like, they've got the most space. But no, still the humans. It doesn't look like they'll stay that way for long because the elves are starting to expand. But uh, still, yeah, because the elves are now about to overtake the humans, which is interesting. Whoa! Oh no! No oh, no! Speaking of humans. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh shit. Oh shit, the, the humans are getting pelted with water and stuff from this um, terrible thing. Oh, but they have, however, built their first castle, and that I assume means they have their king. Let's see. So, yeah, house here too. And they're currently working on roads. Oh, lovely. I like roads. Okay. See, I really like the humans. I sort of feel like I should give them more space, but same token, they're doing really well, even though they've got tiny, tiny amounts of space. Good job, humans, really. They're not too afraid of the gigantic worms that are slowly... Uh... Yeah, I, I sort of feel bad about the worms, to be honest. Um, I feel like if, if the humans are ever able to get off, it won't be because they've learned how to 
how to use boats or because they've had the worms slowly move up a land bridge. Oh god. Is there another another disaster? No, no there is not. Okay. So the dwarves there seem to be going quite well. They've uh, already harvested uh, part of the gold I gave them. I don't know what they've done with it, but it does look like they have a very impressive looking castle over here. Um, they have also learnt houses here too, but they are starting to work on mining, which is actually a fantastic job when you're the only ones living next to a, next to a mountain, which I can't help but notice is also being eaten away by a worm. And there's a turtle that's climbed the mountain. You know, good job, turtle. You've done a very good job. Ah, that's what that was, the number storm going through. Alright, now, the, I've got to say, the orcs are also doing fairly well for themselves, really. It looks like they've got up to three villages now. Am I, am I counting correctly? Have they got three villages in their kingdom? Yeah, they do. And they're all relatively peaceful enough, I suppose. This one's um, ballsy, though, right next to the volcano. Fair enough. Okay, so the dwarves have two settlements. Both of them are fairly sizable. The elves look like they've got three settlements now as well because they've set up another one to the north and they've got one there. Um, they've also got their first castle. Let's just see if they do have three official settlements or not. No, they've got four. Oh, they've got four. And... Oh. And the last one is not happy with life. Are you guys Naira? Do you guys live in Naira? No, you Hey, hello. Where's Naira? Which one is Naira? There's Naira. Oh, this is interesting. So this empire is actually starting to, this, this city is starting to lose some loyalty for the main base. So right now they're at 139, but they could split. The orcs are doing pretty well, really, all things considered. Like, they don't seem to be having as much um, loyalty problems just yet. Like, they're, they're, they're still there and happy. But at least they're in the positive. Like, and the only people who are actually doing perfectly well in that sense are the humans who are literally at this stage using every last skerrick of their land. Because they've really done everything they can. And then they're, they're researching mining of all things for some reason. Like, why would they research mining? I guess they do have a tiny bit of ore there, but like... Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I'm saying I wonder if I should turn off the natural disasters just to stop the sound effects. Or I could just turn down the sound effects of the natural of this of that. Actually that might work better. So uh no, I can't really turn down the percentage, can I? Let's just turn off um effects fire, effects smoke, no ambient sense. Okay. I'll turn back on when I'm ready to cause some chaos. Never mind, they're still going it. What was that? And you give up your powers and return to real world. Never. Oh god, that would make for a very long video. Okay, so let's just go back in and turn off all sounds. Because it, it does feel like sounds might be a little bit... Uh, shall we? I'll put an ambient sound. Yeah. I feel like sounds might be a little bit um, basic with no uh, music and such. Also, I can't help but feel like the humans are really... They've hit their peak. I see no way they can actually go any further. Unless they research boats. If that's even possible. I assume it is because they're all islands. It would be pretty boring if it wasn't. And the video containing from many true nerd definitely contained boats. But the question is how long it takes. They instead want to just research new housing. Which I guess makes sense if it increases their population. And of course they are also the ones getting barraged by the most storms. Because it seems like all storms in creation go from this way to this way. So... Being right at the edge of the map means that they are more likely to get hit, whereas the um, elves who are actually still doing pretty well. They've um, they still haven't split up or anything. Let's turn back up the speed again. So there we go. Yeah, the elves are actually doing fairly well uh, even now. Oh, good. They've um, Nara has uh, managed to start falling into a positive now. Now it's um, Tuna that is showing some um, signs of 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 this. Uh, loyalty or whatever. Ooh, the elves are the elves are going pretty well in science as well. Okay. 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 So right now, oh, we've had our first split. 
We've had our first split. The elves, uh, the um, the orcs of Blood of Ankh, have separated from the Bad Detag orcs. So these are two separate orc empires now. They are both militaristic though. Um, one believes in with pride and duty, um, and obviously they only have one city. Whereas the others, the others, let's see what they believe. Hey, come on, come back here. Yeah, yeah, come on. Oh, they've got their own chieftain house now. That's nice. They believe in salvation through armor, and they're now no longer militaristic. They are administrators. So he just wants to build, which honestly I can relate to. <laughs> Get Nom. I, I wish that name was called Get Nom. I thought I could technically rename it, but I don't see much point. So they're actually working on smithing before the... Before the, um, in fact, I kind of want to reward them for, for working on smithing. Like, good job, guys, for showing the initiative of actually working on smithing. So I'm going to give you guys some more. Like, you're not even that bad now. So, there you go. Here's some ore. There's some gold. There you go. That should help you use your smithing efforts. And they've already expanded some more. Wow, they're going to take over this whole section. Like, if you add them together... They're more than any of the other empires currently. The dwarves seem to be the most stable um, so far. They've now expanded to a third or maybe even a fourth village. They also look like they've gotten lucky with these, uh, um, with the ants deciding to slowly build up. They might actually get a whole new territory soon, which is kind of crazy because, you know, between the ants and the bugs, uh, yeah, fair enough. Oh, hey! The humans finally have boats, and they're fishing! Good job, guys. Good job. They finally research. wait, no, no, they haven't researched boats. They, they've they researched docks, and now they're researching boats to go around. Okay, so they're two separate researchers. Interesting. So currently they can only fish with it, and they're doing pretty well at that. So they're 148, they are definitely falling behind. But the question is, when they're given the ability to do that, will they- ooh, what happened here? Okay, was there a... There wouldn't have been a war. Must have been a natural disaster, I suppose, but it wasn't me. Um, maybe I should turn back on the um, sound effects now. Is that way we can hear what's happening. Okay, sound effects are back on as much as... We should turn up different sound effects. Because I, I assume that was some sort of meteor. I wonder if they'll reclaim that territory. I don't know. How's that done for that loyalty? So... They're all still happy. I mean, they're doing really well. Good job, guys. 261, 253. Um, the only ones that are currently not doing great are the humans, but it sort of makes sense. The orcs are probably going to go to war at some point since there's two of them. Oh, it looks like they might be able to do that now. They're definitely standing up at the... Um... No, they don't look like they're going to war yet. Okay, they don't seem like they're going to war just yet, but I put a star on him. Maybe I'll... No, you got to be ready to see it, so... Oh, they just entered the territory, but only for a few seconds. Are they going to go to war? They look like they're entering. I can't tell if they're entering. Let's see. Um, traits, they, they're savage and they're regenerative. And how's their kingdom? They're currently at war with the humans and the elves, even though they've never met. And they're still at peace with the other other um, orcs. So that's, that's fair. It's probably a... That's probably a good thing, to be honest. That they're still friends with each other. Alright, so, how are you guys going to the dwarves? Wow, you've got some pretty nice houses coming here, right now. Okay, wow, your technology has also expanded dramatically. You've got transport boats, you've got trading boats, you've got mines, obviously. Okay, so, I think you're at the, first, you're at the second line. How's everyone else going in that instance? Like, you guys are about to probably start colonizing, I hope. Yeah, you're really not going great when it comes to that, obviously, because you've got less space entirely. Honestly, the elves, though, should be doing fantastically at this point. They definitely seem like they're doing all right, to be honest. Um, so, even after that uh, natural disaster hit them. So, um, <laughs> so, with stone we live is still, diplomat still. Reign, the king has reigned for 75 years though, so it might end up that they fall. However, they've got their loyalty up really high now, which is good. They're also... Ooh. Okay. 
Okay, I think the dwarves are doing the best, which makes a lot of sense because I sort of gave them a little bit of help. Even though the elves... I mean, the elves have more people in their empire. The orcs have more people full stop because, well, now they've got a third kingdom that's formed. Um, speaking of, let's find out about this kingdom. Um, the Zez, they're actually diplomatic. Interesting, interesting. In spirits we shine. And they're, they're peace for everyone. So, wow, this is actually an empire of peaceful orcs. Well, guys, you know what? Um, God approves of your peaceful your peaceful ways. I would like to give you a gift of, of cows. Um, okay, let's try it. How about sheep? Uh, okay, um... Uh, an alligator? No, no, they, they really just want to kill everything, um, don't they? So they're, they're peaceful in terms of orcs, so maybe I should just give them... What just happened? I can't really tell. Even with the sound on, I just can tell something has happened, not that it's actually... Also, what the f... Okay. I see that the problem with the uh, worm situation is getting very high, but, oh look, there is now a land bridge thanks to the worms. Which means, are they at war? Are they, are the elves at war? The, are the dwarves at war with the humans? No, they're at war with the elves. Wait, where are they going? Let's follow these guys. Wait, what? They've made another. They've made another another colony by walking the land bridge, by walking the the bloody worm bridge. I feel like these people are probably going to be more likely to research uh, to, um... Okay, the elves have just split, which makes me wonder, if the elves have split, did their king die? No, their king is still alive. Interesting. And what are these new, what is this new kingdom like? The Arrows of Sunny. Um, they are, let's see what the kingdom says. They're also diplomats. And they are currently at war with the elves, so it's just an uprising of some description. So interestingly enough, the the first people to have a bloody uprising appear to be the um, the elves. However, I can't help but notice the orcs are also having a bloody uprising. The blood of Ankh has now taken back their 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 land to the north, um, and they appear to be finishing off the bad detarg as we speak, creating one unified orcish state. I assume they'll. They won't stop at um, them, and they'll probably go on to the drag as well. But they're currently at peace. So these peaceful orcs are pretty great. Speaking of, have you actually been able to use your boats to do anything practical? Probably not. Let's try and let's try and help these guys out. And... Yeah, and give them a bit more exploration land so they can clearly get to a land. So th this might help them in actually reaching a promised land if they can actually, uh, you know... Oh, I just accidentally destroyed one of their boats. I destroyed a lot of stuff, actually. There we go. So, will this actually help them get somewhere, is the question I've got. Because I would very much love to see a second human settlement. There are ghosts. Of course there are ghosts. And skeletons! Spooky, scary skeletons? Or is that a human? <gasps> That's a human! They made it over! Does that mean you're going to make a... Are you going to make a house over there? In spooky land? I don't know. I do feel like the worms were a mistake. So if you play this game, do not make worms, apparently. Um, the worms are a mistake. Speaking of mistakes, um, wow, the dwarves are doing really well. I mean, I know they always were planned to. Like, I always put them in the top, but, like, they haven't split yet. There's plenty of them. They haven't had wars. I mean, look at this. The the bloody the, the bloody orcs are showing their, their skin, aren't they? Um, the the existing yellow was entirely defeated, and they replaced it with the uh, regold warriors. Fair enough. Um, they they are very young, actually. No, let's see. So diplomats, they're peaceful as well, actually. That's interesting. Are the orcs having a peaceful thing? Okay. And what are you guys? Um, so you guys are also peaceful. In spirits, we believe. Okay, so... The Orcs had probably one of the most peaceful, um, revolutions I've seen. The Blood of Ankh is still not very peaceful, though, and they might just decide not to do that. I'm actually surprised well the Desire, the Desire, um, survived, um, that last little war. 
Now you'll notice the elves being at war with each other is, is clearly causing some issues between them. Because they're at war with each other, they are fighting each other, which is having some problems. Now, I do feel like the, the dwarves are reaching a point where they're kind of scary. There's a lot of them here, and I sort of feel like I need to do something to sort of like level the playing field. Now, I don't want to do anything too bad, and I kind of want to see what happens if I just put a tiny, tiny little bit of... Where is it? Nope. Where is it? Destructive powers? There's one I'm looking for in particular. Can't find it. I can't find it. They are very lucky, I suppose. They gain more time to survive because I can't actually find what I'm looking for. Not that I won't kill them all. I just want to kill a few. Like, you think it'd be under natural disasters. I'm looking for the plague, if you can't tell. You probably couldn't tell because they didn't tell you. But, you know. I saw it just before, too. Whoa, the Infinity Coin. Robot Santa? Okay, anti man bomb. I don't just want to blanketly destroy them, that's the big problem. Okay, here we go, they're under other, of course they are. Oh, okay. Megalopolis have a, have a city of 200 humans. Strangely enough, everyone is celebrating that. Also, the orcs have been the first people to finally move off their territory. Actually, you know, the humans did too, but I feel like that's kind of not really fair because they have all the power. Okay, so. The strongest nation is clearly the dwarves. Although, they have just had their own little, um... They have actually had their own, their own offshoot here. Which makes sense. They're kind of far away from them, so... Let's see, they're at peace, with Helmet and Curse we live, they're administrators, I don't feel like they're going to be bad, however they might want to take over this little island next to them, I'm not sure how long that'll go for. Also, I can't help but notice, wow, he's got five, that is one, okay. Now, I hate to do this because I was just busy, okay, wow, I also feel like I really need to give them some more space too. Actually, you know what I should do beforehand? Where are those worms? Where are those worms? I need to kill the worms. Ah, there it is. No, that's not the worm, it's a... Where are the worms? There's one. I can probably just use a way- it's probably an easier way of killing life. Let's see. Um, oh yeah, racer. There we go, that got rid of the worm. Alright, uh, there are two worms I believe I made. Let's define the other one and kill it. There's the other one. Okay, sorry worm, um, but you're dead. There we go. The ancient worms of old are dead, which means I can now hopefully uh, start to bring back some uh, order to the world. Because, uh, yeah, boats aren't really a great way to explore when you can't actually uh, boat. So... Yeah, let's just clear this up a little bit. There we go. I mean, they're all shallow sea, so it's not really the most beautiful way in the world, but I feel like this is really just, mis just, just me fixing up my own mistakes. You know, uh, there's another worm. Bloody hell. How many worms did I make? Guys, guys, come on. Come on, guys. Alright, let's just uh, clear this out. Okay. There we go. There we go. Clear this. Clear this. Okay. Clear that. Clear that. Alright, now that is going to cause some chaos, and it looks like the, the, the dwarves have already split. So I feel like I haven't even been able to do the evil thing to them, and they've already sort of done it to themselves. Which is fine, I suppose. Oh wow, in fact, now both of these guys have um, actually dropped out. Okay, so, um, guys, I, I said I would do something bad to you, and I, I want to do it, so... Uh, I don't want to do it, but um, let's just put a single outbreak. We've got to find some people here. Wait, they're already at war. Oh, shit, that's already a war. I, I feel really bad about... In fact, what happened to their turret? Why is it all red? Wait, they're using this fire mages? Wait, what? Where did they get fire mages from? Are you a natural disaster? Yeah, evil. Um... 
south of Terra. Okay, so there's, there's already being attacked by evil fire mages. I sort of feel like, yeah, no, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt the, um, hurt the, yeah, no, the dwarves can, they can live because, um, they're doing a great job of being naturally wiped out. Um, I'm glad the cow is surviving, so that's a positive, but apart from that, the, the, they're doing great. So, um, never mind, uh, these rebellious elves, these guys can do it. Okay, so. Let's put the, to the plague. Just to a couple of people, and we'll see what happens. So, that person now has the plague. Doesn't look like it's a very effective plague. I don't know. I guess I was expecting something more from the plague. They're gonna find some more. They're gonna find more heavy, denser areas before the plague will make much difference. So let's go up here. It means like it's a, and just do it all in this area up here. Okay. So they all got the plague now. Will they spread the plague? I mean, once again, it feels like nothing much really happened. In fact, I think the elves are actually trading with the humans. Like, speaking of the humans, um, looks like their colonization uh, effort was thwarted by a lot of ghosts. So, yeah, I, I feel like the humans are really not having a good time after all. And they probably would have if it wasn't for the spooky biome. Should be said though, um, faced with similar challenges, the bloody elves are killing it. Like, quite literally, they're killing everyone. So, good job, guys. Guided by honesty. Fair enough. Um, they've got lots of research now. Mining efficiency, they're up to level 5 houses and, and a barracks, okay. Governance, okay. Wells. Oh, and they got rare knowledge, a defensive strategy, it gets bonus. This defense, well that's interesting, that's probably how they'll be able to survive the spooky biome. Now, how are you guys, oh boy. <clears throat> oh, is there also a war going on too? Are you guys also at war? The Desairs, they're at War of the Desairs, apparently. Which are the ones that are... Wait, where are the Desairs? Oh, the Desairs down there? But you're, you're, you're at war with the only peace-loving orcs that have somehow managed to... Oh, they've got... They've got... They've actually got a bit more technology since last time I looked at them. They can do milling. <clears throat> yeah. They've got the ability to make windmills. Good job, guys. And these orcs, they have something else entirely. They have, um, what is that? Knowledge game one. And they also have windmills. What's that? Is that a boat that they've just built in the middle of the territory? Is that a house? It's a house. Okay. Shouldn't be so judgmental. I mean, honestly, the orcs are being very peaceful. <clears throat> now, um, I feel like the dwarves have sort of been screwed over. But the interesting thing is, even though their old capital was lost, like, they're still pretty much living on. I guess they eventually killed that evil wit, that evil, evil wizard, but, you know. Okay, let's try and do the plague here, then. Ooh, actually, I can bless creatures and make them powerful? Okay, so I just blessed a couple of them. I don't know what that does. Madness. <clears throat> no. Okay. <clears throat> a zombie virus. That has to do some problems. So, let's just turn this entire lot of people into zombies. Let's see what happens. Now, will they be effective enough at closing it? They've still got some military, and we're going straight for the military right now. But the zombies are doing pretty well. Actually, see, this is the thing. There should be a large number of zombies, and every time they kill someone, it turns into another zombie. So technically, even though there's only a small number of zombies, unless they really get their military presence, like, organized, they could be taken out. I don't know. The zombies seem like they're doing pretty well at the moment. Now, more importantly, oh, they've crossed into the other Elven Kingdom. The other Elven Kingdom doesn't know what's hitting them, because they haven't been prepared for this. Oh no, the other Elven Kingdom, these guys at least have to deal with them. Okay, so, the zombies have basically started to annihilate the entirety of the Elven Kingdom. Um, they're currently only in the northern part of this kingdom, but like that's their main commerce hub It looks like their military hub is down lower, so it is possible they'll survive, especially since it's that big um, Okay, so finally wow, that's a big swarm of zombies actually interesting Okay, so they're now starting to burn everything 
Uh, I think that might be a, a natural disaster again. They've really had bad luck with that, haven't they? Okay, so the zombies are have literally decimated the top empire to the point where I think they're about to fall. There is almost no more elves left in the top empire. The bottom empire has is also getting screwed over, but they have a lot more space, um, so they could probably survive. Ooh, great good. Okay, no, let's not do that to the elves. The elves have had have, have too much. Okay, so the the northern lot are about to die from 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 zombies. So let's just point that out that the I have definitely it started with only five zombies and uh, oh dear, oh dear, will they starve or will they try and seek out their compatriots? Also, who are the thirteen brave souls who are still alive? Are they just in boats? Is that it? Are they all these people in boats just being like, well, I don't want to land, do you? No, let's just live in the ocean. In fact, let's give them an out. If I give them some plain soil over here, right? And I say, give it something nice and uh, magical. Whenever I find the right thing. There we go. Now I make it um, into a beautiful magical grove. Will they take... I'm not going to say bait, because I'm not planning on doing anything terrible to them. But will they take the lifeline? Because at the moment, this empire only has nine people left. And I'm 90 sure, 99% sure they're just people on boats. So I feel like they're currently really showing their dedication to fishing at this point. There's one last one of the last humans has just been turned to, into a zombie. There are nine humans. Wow, it went up from eight to nine, which means, amazingly, there are still people doing it in the zombie apocalypse. But not just doing it, surviving long enough to actually get some more people alive. So good on them, I suppose. Now, I should have that as well. The longer I keep watching the elves, the longer I haven't been watching what's going on in the rest of the world. So when I'm going to go, I'm going to stay here until this empire either dies or moves on to this island and ensures their safety so one way or another I shall focus on the elves now it does look like the southern kingdom is also being ravaged by zombies and they also fall it should be said though I don't believe there's any way the zombies can actually get to the orcs and I don't think there's any way the zombies can get to anyone else so I think the zombies will just be the end of the uh, end of the elves unless they can work out that I've given them a perfectly good out over there. In fact, the fact they haven't spread to another continent is, uh, yeah, not great. They did have this colony over here, but it got ravaged by a completely unrelated disaster that I didn't cause. It's a shame because they're actually doing pretty well over there. But yep, that empire has officially fallen to the zombies. There is, uh, I, I, sh I feel kind of bad about that one. Yeah, I feel kind of bad about that one. Okay. Wait, what? What do these mean? Cellular automation with school rules, green surgery room is fun. Okay. I'm going to work out what that is after, I suppose. Printer, hexagon. A brand new hexagon island with zero effort. Printer squares. Printer island. Printer heart. Printer skull. Printer yin yang. Printer star. Okay, interesting. Okay, so they have now fallen. This entire empire of elves has now turned into blood-sucking, um, horrible things. Which is odd because they've still got some boats out here that apparently have uh, de defected and went to the other empire, but that's fine. Now this empire is not faring much better. In fact, it does look like they have also been ravaged by some sort of fire. I'm not sure where that comes from. There are only 30 people left in this empire. Even the cows have turned into zombies. So there is a zombie cow. Oh, he likes brains. Yeah, me too. Me too. I always find brains a good, good sign. All right, so literally the elves are entirely about to fall. Now, there are no zombies on any other islands. In fact, no one else has actually fallen yet. Let's have a look what's happened. So, wow, the orcs, okay. So the blood of Ankh, the original orcs, completely lost to these people, the Axe of Zank. Um, okay, um, completely fallen to this empire here. They are militarists, and they, have, they actually managed to survive, though, and spread to the Northern Kingdom, which is actually probably a lot more pleasant than what they used to. 
as long as they don't decide to like cross the sea, I suppose. Um, should also be said that no, they're still they're still zombies. Wow, every single where are the thirty people who are still alive in this empire? I mean, I feel like the elves won't be sending out any of those um, life things right now. All right, so woo, wow, the um, dwarves have also. Um, completely unified into t into like their two little sections up here. So whether it was through war or for unification, I don't know. But uh, wow, their technology is also expanding greatly. So they've they've really done a lot, and it also re works out a few other things. New one, you start level two. Uh, use this culture of ten years long lifespan, weapons, span, etc. All right, that, that's another thing. It, that's another thing. culture. Let's look at the cultures around, because like maybe the villages. They're all the villages. Okay, so there's a cup up. The um, elves are now extinct. So, uh, GG elves, GG. Um, so yeah. Oh wait, 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 wait! <gasps> the elves! I don't know if you're the same people from before. I don't remember the name, but elves survived. No, it is. With stone, we live. They survived. Holy fuck! I gotta give them more territory. You guys earned it. Here, take all this extra land, this given land to you. You are the survivors. And with it, I shall give you land and glory. You shall be given everything. You shall be given the earth. Good job, guys. I, I, good job. Okay, so we need to actually give them something to actually have. So let's give them the enchanted forest biome everywhere. Fantastic. There we go. So lots of enchanted forest biome. Let's also give these amazing survivors some ores to go with as well. So let's give them a bunch of stone. And let's give them a bunch of gold. A bunch of ore. And even a bunch of food and trees and everything they could possibly want. This... I am, I am incredibly happy that you beat me at my own game. So, congratulations guys, you are now God's chosen for the now, for now. Alright, so, ignoring all those random storms, let's have a look at this well. So, the elves have managed to avoid falling, despite the fact of how much of a treacherous journey that would have actually been for them. Like, how did they even get through there to, to do it? Um... So yeah, good job on them. The the orcs have survived amazingly. This group is falling for some reason. It looks like they've gone to war with the Desires, who are who used to be peace loving. Are they still peace loving? Nope, they're militarists now, and they're at war with everyone. So fair enough. They also have terrible technology. The dwarves have sort of like they haven't really recovered from the fact that they sort of lost half their empire. Um, but they're going all right, I reckon. Yeah, they've got good technology. Housing too, so they've actually got bigger houses now as well. Lots and lots of weapons. Yeah, good job, guys. Um, the humans, I admit, you guys really, um, drew the short end of the straw as well up here. I was kind of hoping you'd, you'd sort of escape that, but... Like, in life you believe? Okay. I feel like I've got to give these guys some more love. So, I'm going to give them an expansion. Hopefully, they won't misuse it. Hopefully, this expansion will help them out. I say when destroying so many of their hams, but still. Okay. I have given them an expansion. I just need to fill it with... Um, Grass seeds. Ooh, the swamp! I hadn't seen the swamp before. Oh, that's cool. I need to make a swamp area. Um, I mean, these are all still zombies. Um, they don't need a swamp. Um, hmm. Where do I want to build a swamp? I suppose I could transfer this little area up here into a swamp. I'm sure the, elves, the orcs would mind. Oh no, it completely destroyed them. Of course it decimated them. 
Yeah, that goes without saying, I just decimated a small orcs population. I mean, okay. Let's see if they can actually do better. Like, can they rebuild? Now they Yeah, they're trying to rebuild. I admit that they're really doing their best, but, uh... You know, I'm sorry. Apparently, um... Swampland is, uh... Is not conducive for... Life. Though I do see a little bit of regular, um, forests also trying to grow. So, I'm not sure entirely what's gonna happen, to be honest. Alright, so... The... The, um, the wolves are actually doing pretty well. They've got three separate empires that are quite powerful. The orcs have had consistent civil wars, but they've still got two or three empires which are of relatively good size. The humans are doing terribly, but that's still to be expected, and oh no. Uh, the elves died. Oh no. That's... that's sad. That's, that's sad. The orcs discovered them, and that's, that's sad. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, that's a disappointment, to say the least. That's very much a disappointment. Um, I was actually really like, wait, what? Living houses? Living plants. Ooh! If I make these living plants, will they come zombie plants? Oh, they're attacking zombies! I mean, I do wonder how a zombie could take down a tree. I've heard the only way the zombies are gonna win this are if, um... If the trees get hit by lightning. Which, by the sounds of what's happening in the world right now, is very possible. Are they doing a really good job of dealing with the zombies? I mean, I guess once again, it makes some sense. Okay, but what beats tree? What if I make the houses come to life as well? Oh, and the beehive too. Oh, oh, so now it's house versus, um, versus tree. Um, okay. Now, what if I give the, the buildings coffee? Oh dear, okay. And the tree's coffee! You don't have coffee! In fact... In fact, what happens if I give the entire Empire of Man coffee? Here you go, guys. Drink coffee, guys! I don't know what's gonna happen when they're given this absolutely wild amount of coffee. Surprisingly, not much. I mean, realistically, um, they really haven't expanded that much despite the new space. Maybe they need more trees. Actually, that could be the fact. They probably need more trees. They probably can't build without trees. So, uh, yeah. Let's, let's, just, let's just go see what I can do for them. Um, I always forget where everything is. That's the only problem. It was already here. I was already in the right section. Trees. So if I give them more trees, will they actually start to expand more? Is that what they were missing? Trees. Also plants. Ooh. Oh, that gives them fl flowers. Okay. I, I can't help but notice the, the flowers are consistently lowering the level. So obviously a lot of people in the city are allergic to flowers. Fair enough. I mean, the humans have now been given a fair amount of a boost, but like, they're still behind, so... Oh well. Oh wow! Oh wow, what happened there? The, the dwarves! They have, uh... Wow! Um, the Dwarven Empire is back to its, um, former glory, I suppose, for now. Also, are there any more zombies left? No. I feel like the zombies have failed, unfortunately. I say unfortunately, but the zombies... Oh wait, no, there are still some zombies. Let's say the zombies and the trees have sort of came into a bit of a... Bit of an understanding, I suppose. Now, I do feel like revenge against the orcs may not be too bad, especially since they just happened to kill my favorite new faction. So, uh, there you go, guys. Now, one of two things will happen. Either the trees will kill you, 
the zombies will kill you, or you will somehow manage to kill them. So I'm kind of curious to know what will happen. Now there are zombies there still, but there's not many. So, yeah. Also, I've got to wonder, what is very heavy but bouncy? This way, I'll put it over here then. No, no. Okay, there's too many zombies over here. Let's put it near this house. Whoa! Wait, where'd it go? Wait. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, that's pretty hilarious. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, and then Heat Ray. Oh, Heat Ray might be able to take, get rid of the living house problem. Sorry, I want to see zombies versus, um... Orcs, so... Okay. Once these zombies versus orcs, so that implies. In fact, wait a second. If I can make, I can make zomb anything into zombies, right? So, what if? Oh wow! Apparently, the crabs are really good at dealing with zombies. But I actually want the opposite. I want to have crab zombies. So, where were the zombie fire skin? There they are. Wait, have the crabs already been killed? Yeah, they have. The crabs have already been killed. I, I feel like that was on me for taking so long. Let's go put the crabs over here. They can live in peace and harmony. And let's see, what else do I want to turn to zombies? Let's see, a buffalo, a rhino, maybe some penguin zombies. Okay, so, now if I go into disasters, and I'm missing it again. Uh, destruction power. All right, so, okay, zombie infection. So, now we have a bunch of zombie critters. We have zombie penguins, and we have zombie crabs. Um, the rhinos are really doing well without this, so I'm just going to have to keep on infecting them until they hopefully... No, they seem to be immune to zombieism. Oh wait, no one the hyena finally turned. Come on, guys. Okay, I do feel like perhaps maybe. Yeah, I do feel like perhaps maybe I should have made the, the zombies maybe a weaker animal. Okay, let's um let's see here. Let's just go and put some bear. No, this just a weaker animal. Hmm. I need to seem like a terrifying thing to turn to zombies. Alright, so then we go into there and we turn them into zombies. There we go. Hyena zombies. Perfect. So that should give the orcs something fun to play with when they get there. There's still most zombies in the north. Um let's have a look what's happening though. Can I have zombie bees? That would be terrifying. No, you cannot have zombie bees. That is a little bit sad, I'm not gonna lie. You also can't have zombie trees. Hmm. I feel like I've just given the orcs a massive new territory. Because, yeah, who, what are you? Are you human? Or are you? You're an orc! Okay, so an orc just made it through and is the Oz Brothers. Okay, so the orcs have now started to, started to colonize the formerly zombie infested home of the elves. Will they survive? Who knows? Most of the zombies are to the north, but if they find that out there's, there's something they can eat, they probably go for it. The humans really are just content in be living their life at this point. They really don't seem to care about becoming an empire, which is fair. Same with the Hiril Mountain. Yeah, poor... Ooh, they've got like... A lot of tons of going on arenas. They've got, they've got um, temples. Now the orcs. I mean, they're not doing as well as they were on the bloody. Um, I think the orcs on this land are doing better. Okay, finally one of the orcs has finally found the place which is now actually growing back after I, after I bombed it. Surprised by that actually. Hmm. 
feel like if I was going to drop this, it would be somewhere really far away so we can see what happens. No, let's not do that in there yet. That really feels like doomsday. Let's find out what this is, though. What? I don't know what that is. Is this like a mating simulator? Like, if I put down greens... Yeah, I can't really tell what's happening. I really don't know what's happening. It must be a reference to something. Um, fair. Golden brain. Attracts creatures that eat the brain, nothing can stop them. Oh. So I can actually make the zombie horde attack the orcs. Hey guys, I have a new present for you. I mean, I don't know if that's going to be enough to stop them. I feel like they already saw the brain. Oh yeah. Um, we've got the zombie elves and zombie hyenas moving against the orcs. Now, if any empire can deal with this, it might be the orcs. The other thing about the orcs is by killing this army, they've still got tons left. Though this is the original orcs, so I should feel more bad about this than I am. Now, question is, the zombie horde is still coming. Very slowly, but it's coming. The question is, will it be able to overrun the orcs? The, the famously militaristic orcs. Just give them a little bit of healing before they get there. Wait, can I remove... Wait, wait, wait. Can I remove the curse from some zombies? No, that just... That just blatantly kills them. Fair enough. Alright, so... The zombies have now started to make it to the, uh, into the Orcish kingdoms. Much like the, the elves before, they have they are trying to the military, but they're actually doing... Well, they're not doing a better job. In fact, they're sending so many military units at them, it seems like... Yeah, they're, just, they're just spreading. So, it feels like zombies are really something that um, can't be dealt with. So, yeah, that, they've lost the entire thing already. Which is fine, I guess. Let's give the guys a little bit of little bit of power. Maybe that'll help them survive. I feel like maybe power up the orcs isn't the best, but if they survive, then they deserve it. If they don't, then well, you know. Also, what else if I do this? Nothing. It doesn't appear to do anything. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the mush spores do. Okay, what am I actually doing here? Are there actually going to be mushrooms spawning? Oh! Oh, look at this! Someone else is trying to colonize another set of orcs. Is trying to colonize Zombie Island. But here's the thing, right? Wait, are these orcs or are they dwarves? I think they might be dwarves, actually. Yeah, they're the dwarves! Okay. Deg Said. Interesting. So, actually, it's, it seems to be the dwarves that are trying to... Oh, I see. It's obviously, this empire sort of... Oh, wow! Herald Mountain has now became the, the, the leader. Right, now, more importantly, has be giving them superpowers actually helped them in their fight? No. No, giving them superpowers has not helped them in their fight at all. So, these orcs are going to fall. The thing is, though, they've got nowhere across the... Oh. Actually... There is a land bridge. There is indeed a land bridge between the orcs and the zombies. It's a very small land bridge though, and I don't know if the zombies will actually want to go there, but the axe of Zren, Zep, Ren, Ren Zep, could actually uh, not go well from this. Oh wow, they've just split. I mean, fair enough, you sort of... I feel like you went very far, but like, in, in your defense, you did clearly want to try and claim a mountain. Given that your name's Hurril Mountain, I think you've done a fairly, like, reasonable thing. So, fair. Also, uh... I can't see the, um, the guy who was building my this up anymore. Wait, what? Wait, what? Where did they come from? 
Okay, random demons are living on the side of the dwarves. They just don't know it. There's still lots of zombies in the elven land, so um, no one's going to be moving in there anytime soon. These weird shapes are just living, and um, there's fairies. Of course there are. The spook town is still spooky. And the humans still are too afraid to move out um, of, of home. They're, they're still in their parents' basement. They're still like, nah, 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 I'm not moving anywhere. What are you talking about? We didn't have to move anywhere. Come on, guys. Having one village is all the rave. Okay, so I think the dwarves are probably still doing the best, but oh no. Yes, indeed. The original orcs have been slain by the zombie virus. Oh dear. Oh, oh so dear. Um, wait, more importantly, are there any, are there, is there even a single elvish zombie? Yep. There is indeed an elvish zombie in this squad of zombies. Only one, but the elves did get some semblance of revenge at least. Which does make me wonder, could there be dwarven zombies? No, no, let's do something else to kill everyone. Let's not do that. Makes weak and miserable. I could make an entire empire of uh, orcs weak and miserable. Oh, wait, Great Terror? Go to war, it's called Great Terror. I'm going to make you all miserable. I don't know what that will do, but I just want to make you all miserable. Yeah, they're all really, really sad now. I, I'm not sure what the point of that was, but I don't know what sort of impact that'll have on their diplomacy. But, you know. Now, I really don't know what to do about the um, human problem. They, they kind of don't want to do anything. They're not expanding. Granted, they're probably scared of the ghosts, because they, they did try and expand and got met by spooky, scary skeletons. Oh wow, something else has happened. Looks like the war, there's a war. Hyrule Mountain has fallen and reunified up here, but is now in place of the Great Gore. Now, more importantly... What's this acid geyser and what happens if I put some somewhere? Okay, so... There is technically a land bridge between the zombies and and the um, Yorks, but I don't think it's big enough that they know they can get through. So there is now a land bridge. Now the question is, okay, so the answer is the Orcs are going to go find the zombies. But if they're invading, does that mean they should have a better chance of surviving? Or are they going to run off? Let's say the first two, two orcs invaded, like, nope, nah, I'm out of here. You're probably the safest, the, the smartest of orcs around. The thing is, because the orcs are invading them rather than the other way around, it is possible that they won't get killed by the zombies. Because they're coming into zombie territory rather than the zombies coming into their territory. So they may actually be able to reclaim this territory if they're lucky. But they'll need to be a little bit more effective than saying one at a time. And if even a single zombie knows what they're doing, it's game over for them. So, you know. Let's say the orcs are busy declaring war on each other. And there's something else going on here. Let's say they had to attack them. Yeah. So the orcs really have their own wars to worry about right now. They really don't care about the zombies that much, but let's see. And the zombies are really just easy to kill, apparently. Oh wow, what the hell? How did an orcish zombie travel all the way up into elven territory? I think that's more confusing than the other, the other than everything else. Also, there's just demons randomly spawning all over the place. Fair enough. Alright, so, looks like the L, the um, dwarves have fallen, but I can't tell what to. If it was an army, or if it was a natural disaster. 
I can't really tell. Looks like they probably is into into world wars, I suppose. But oh, damn, like, they're doing a good job of killing themselves without me being involved. Oh, is this important events? Oh, I should have had that on before. Oh. I don't think it's going to do any good, though, but still. <laughs> Easy Axes. I love that name. That's fantastic. You guys die last. Um, what else can I do? Let's have a look at what these other bombs do. Okay, they actually do make a hole in the sky. That's nice. And the anti man bomb, we already know what it does. This bomb. Okay, fair enough, it is a bomb. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, is this... Oh... Oh, I did this in Minecraft. Yeah... Okay, so what happens if I do it in this game? When set on fire... <laughs> uh, oh wow, it completely destroyed everything. Everyone's incredibly happy about me using TNT though, so it's fine. Completely destroyed everything and started a forest fire. Good job, good job. I know I'm basically saying, oh, and what's that do? No, I don't want Robo Sam, but Sam, that's a future arm reference and everything, but. Oh, here we go, landmines. I can fill this entire place. Wait, what? That seems a little bit. I guess that's why I really need to just do a single landmine. Like, if I do a single landmine, yeah. So, like, for example, just as a complete test, like, if I say put a landmine right here. Huh. It did say when a creature walks over it, but, okay, I was gonna say, like, multiple people walked over that landmine for it to split itself up. Well, Great Terror is already dying. Are they all still cursed, by the way? No, they're not all still cursed. Obviously, a very either a minor curse or maybe they last for a generation or so. Alright, gotta know what the Grey Goo does. So, I'm gonna put it all the way up here, somewhere far away, and we'll see what it does. I mean, it might actually eat itself out. I don't think it can go over water. It's okay, so literally the Great Goo just eats everything. Oh no! Wait, what? Oh no, it eats anything that isn't... Oh no. Okay, so the Great Goo eats anything that isn't, um, deep... Deep, um, water, apparently. Well, this is gonna go poorly for everyone. Uh, nope, I'm gonna make it bigger. Um, let's make it bigger, please. Okay, let's just, let's just, let's just. There you go. That should protect people for a little bit, at least. Oh dear. I mean, I say it should protect people, but. Like. It's literally just eating everything, isn't it? It's even attacking the tornado! I kind of feel like I've got to save the zombies, too. Okay. I think that should stop the Grey Goo. But it does uh, clearly get rid of the entire... Well, top corner of the map, so... I mean, it's a good way of getting rid of everything, I suppose. <gasps> no, not the crabs! Anything but the crabs. Okay, so... Clearly what we learned from this is that the one true people... ...are crabs. And crabs... ...need space. There we go. 
And you get crabs. And you know what would be interesting? Yeah, it does actually have trees here. So if I use plant fertilizer and I use tree fertilizer. Okay, now more importantly, what happens if I try and bring the elves back to life on this newly formed desert biome? Of course, I will need some, I will need like an oasis or something for them to build around. But I feel like that's definitely a thing that needs to happen. So what if I put rain in the middle? Okay, nothing. Um, I actually have to put some proper water there then. So let's just put some very shallow waters in the middle. There we go. And then make them go a little bit deeper. And then go a little bit deeper still. Oh, I can't help but notice that that's, that's literally, like, dr dead dry. So, like, if I, say, put water in there, will it actually fill up the... the yes, it does. Okay. So, there is now an oasis in the desert. Now, what I want to do in this oasis, let's put some fruit bushes around, see if they'll actually grow. They will not grow. Of course they will not grow. Let's put some ores. Now, elves are notoriously forest-dwelling creatures, so they may not actually survive here at all. I think the wolves would have a chance, orcs would have a chance. Humans could probably manage it, but quite frankly, you know. Do I trust them after their current showing? Probably not. Oh, I can also raise the temperature. Also, I can lower the temperature. If I lower the temperature, does that do anything? Oh! I can actually create an ice biome. Even though it didn't tell me this, but yeah, let's make it a massive thing. Make this entire thing into ice. Oh, I was not expecting this. Oh, wow! There is the ice biome, even though it doesn't lay to spawn it, there is definitely an ice biome. Now, first of all, are you humans? You look like humans. Wait, did the humans finally expand? No, they're, they're, they're dwarves, aren't they? Well, unfortunately for you, this is the humans' promised land. So once the ghosts are gone, I'm going to put some trees down. And unfortunately, guys, um, oh, it looks like you're going to die anyway, so it's fine. Alright, so, okay, now, the crabs are doing great, but as I said, I want to reintroduce some of the people who have died. So, I'm going to put down a couple, of, an elf. Wait, did he say nope? No, he did. He said to move. The other one said nope, but I don't think he meant it. Also, let's put some chickens down. Because everyone loves chickens. In fact, I have an auto clicker. I have an auto clicker. I need to remember that I have an auto clicker. Are there any places... There's still empty. Okay, up here. Up here is still empty. Okay, there's now chicken in the water. So, I'm gonna make this. Perfect. I'm going to color it as a particular type of grass land. Uh, let's make it enchanting. And then I'm going to put some plants. Some of this. And some of this. Now, I do have an auto clicker. I do wonder how effective it would be in this game. Oh, good! Oh, good! What have I done? I mean, they don't seem to be attacking each other. So, you know, I think Crocodile Chicken Island is a great idea. Now, more importantly, have the elves actually died? No, they're still alive, but they don't have any wood to start a colony. So, I'm not sure how I can help that without, you know, getting rid of the whole idea of it. Okay, what if... Now they've got, they have got trees. They've got trees over over here by the water. So, if I drop down more... more. Nope, I just put down crocodile. They're dead. Um... Okay, I'm going to put down some more trees over here, by the water's edge, like so. Now, 
hypothetically, if they need trees to build, hopefully palm trees will count. If not, this will just remain Crab Island. But, that's what some elves said. Once again. So. You're the last two people of your kind. As far as I know, the others were killed by... Oh, wait, wait, there's still zombies on the island. Well, somehow zombies managed to survive and killed the, the, the first reincarnation of, of, of elf, elf manity. In fact, I'm, there's one more there, but like, the Arga is there. I can't see any other zombies though. So that person just got incredibly unlucky meeting the one zombie. Also, uh, yeah, clearly they can't build with palm trees, so they're doomed to die. So what if I put it to a human here? Can any of them build... I'm just going to put down one of each of these people. Can anyone build in the desert, damn it? No. Okay. So none of them can build in the desert. The desert isn't a real, but real biome. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Oh. Good job, Derez. In fact, I think Derez is one of the earliest empires that's still around. Well, besides Una, obviously. I feel like even though I changed this place into a terror into a into an icy world, like they're still having a really bad time with all the uh, the wildlife from when it was a spooky town. So it's definitely taking them a while to gain root here. They are doing it though, even though they've really lost a few colonies already, so good job. Alright, so we got the... okay. Now, the big question is, what haven't I tried yet? So... Hmm... I haven't tried this yet. Become an enormous crab. I mean, this just feels like... okay, we, got, we clearly got to start as the crab here. <gasps> awesome! Crab Island has risen. Oh, you'll be afraid. Crab people, crab people. I'm a crab, you're a people. I know that's how that song goes, but... Alright, so, I'm a crab, and I got laser arms. I do feel like perhaps this would have been a good, good way to get back at the orcs if it wasn't for the fact they're already dead. So now I'm really just taking out my, my, my hatred on someone who really doesn't deserve it. Yeah, that watchtower probably didn't want to report back. Actually, these people would deserve it, because I said this was human land, damn it. Oh yeah, speaking of. How will the humans react to a gigantic crab? Wait, can I... Can I get away enough of the water that they can just walk across? Can I destroy the water? Can I be like, I am the crab who is showing you the way across the water? No, I cannot be a guidance crab. I feel like the peaceful applications of this crab are quite limited. Okay, okay, so. Um, ooh, I can, ooh, I can be a dancing crab. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Wait, did this empire just fall without me even being involved? I think it did. Like, I'm a crab that's just walking around, mostly just trying to... <laughs> yeah, you, you thought you guys... You thought your ancestors had a sad time. Hmm. I mean, good job, really, everyone. Everyone's doing a great job. As far as I go, things go, I'm pretty proud of you guys. If I do that, will that let the lava out? No. In fact, I was, I was able to destroy... Okay, that makes sense, I guess. I am a... Yeah, I am a crab. Like, a giant crab. It does make sense that nothing could really stop me. Though it does seem like, apparently, the, uh... The... the that biome does spread, occasionally, so... Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, well, so the Axe of Zen Rep seems to have also... They've suffered a bit of a... Of, of falling out, too. Which is interesting. Okay. Like, will you guys try and attack me? Yeah, they are trying to attack me. Can they kill me? I'm kind of curious if they can kill me. In fact, that would be an interesting endgame. 
Like if they if your creations could get so powerful they could kill you they could like fight back against you. That would be cool, actually. And then they get on this on a pl other ship, on a spaceship to leave, and just like because they have enough of your shit. I mean, I'm not actually moving the crab right now. The crab's damage is actually moving it. Ah, oh, good job, guys. I mean, now you're all gonna burn to death, which I sort of feel like is something I, I feel bad about. So, uh, here you go. You know, you fought back valiantly against the crab. I think that deserves some, yeah. Now, um, I do admit maybe the crab wasn't the best move. Also, what happened on Alligator Chicken Island? It's still full of alligators and chickens. Fantastic. Now, more importantly, Dorez is still alive, so that's fine. So. These guys, hmm, what if I would say put a bunch of volcanoes in their territory? How long would they take to die? Hey, not that long. Not that long is the answer. In fact, what if I just put a bunch of volcanoes all over the place in this um, place which should be full of volcanoes? Yeah, makes sense. Are still zombies? I can't tell, but there's a few zombies, not many. Okay. Well, the angst of Renzep is actually somehow surviving, despite the fact that um, I've sort of made their land a little bit unpalatable, to say the least. So good for them, really. Ooh, acid. Dissolves any ground. Well, that's kind of, kind of boring, but... Okay, this is dissolving, but sure. What else is there? Fire, lightning, increase the temperature. What if I decrease the temperature of, of this? More importantly, are there any actual... Wait, this could actually allow me to, to bring back elves. I know it's been my dream for a while to bring back the elves. But could I have snow elves? I don't know. Anyway, first things first, I guess I need trees, and then I need elves. So trees come first, although, oh no, it's not that, so it still is only. Wow, well, so all we've done is made, somehow made the middle of, the, of that place even less palatable. Great. The dwarves still live. The humans have still done jack shit anything. Hmm. Let's see how this works. Uh, this, this. Oh, 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 look! Wait, is that orc? The orc finally built something in the snow. <laughs> I guess probably it's safe to assume the orc probably maybe murdered the elf. And it's also probable to assume that the uh, zombies killed the humans. Okay. So where, the dwarf, I'm guessing the orc also killed. Now I know that's probably a little bit stereotypical of me, but you know. Also, do you guys have the same... Like, what level of technology do you guys have? Are you back to being nothing? Yeah. You're back to having no technology and having no nothing. But it's only one of you, you're going to have a very hard time breeding. Unless, what if I tried to make a multicultural society? Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Come on, best person gets to town. Don't tell what's gonna happen actually. But if two of them survive, it's, it looks like it's an orc versus. Okay, so the humans survived. Barely. Good job.
I think they were the last one I placed down, so it makes sense they have the most health. And since there's two of them, maybe they'll be appropriate, even though both of them look like they might be mad. There we go. Oh wow, the piranhas can even attack boats. Well, wait, what are they? Are they humans? Did they? They are humans too. Did the humans managed to get the humans managed to get all the way from Una down there to declare war on the orcs. First of all, they got there and everyone was already dead, but still. That's impressive! They couldn't even make a second colony, but they can definitely go across the world, apparently. Let's give them the gift of penguins! Actually, wait. <gasps> now I've got a perfect place for penguins! There we go. I feel like they'd probably be happy now. Now, what else can we do? Now, there are some other things here. Like, what does this do? The god thing. It's a multiplayer si simulator, so I'm guessing the idea is this. Ah, uh, yep, yep, I see. Is he get what? What's he gonna do? Is he just okay? I makes sense. This is exactly what will probably happen in multiplayer. Yeah, that makes that makes perfect sense. Yep, that's um, okay. So fair enough. Now uh, I can't help but notice the um dwarves are actually doing a really good job again. Despite the uh, newfound chaos, which I'm probably going to regret adding that thing, but okay. Tumor. Wait, what? Grows on land and on sea, eats everything. So this is like basically creep. Okay. So I put a tiny, tiny bit of creep somewhere where no one is. Like right here. What happens? Nothing, because apparently can't eat that. Okay, so let's put some tiny, tiny bit of creep somewhere in the far outskirts of this place. Oh, there we go. They are definitely trying to fight it. And they might actually succeed, but like I can't help but notice that the pink stuff is spreading. Now, the big thing is, it is will there be another creep nodule spawn before they kill it? Okay, no. So they actually did actually manage to, to get that pass. Okay, but let's see if the orcs can do that as well. So it seems like the orcs are currently in multiple wars. It looks like the um, yeah the the yeah they definitely opened up the ability for the dwarves to declare war on the orcs, which is fine. But what happens if I put say the creep right here? Now there's less orcs around. So one would imagine this will not go very well. Then again, the orcs, the orcs are very, actually very good at this. Okay, so what if instead I put somewhere where people don't expect it? Like down here. Now I feel like you need to be able to spread. Or we will be able to spread with that stupid multiplayer hand going around. Okay, as long as he doesn't touch, as long as you don't touch chicken in Croc Island, we're okay. But okay, let's put it down here. There we go. Now, the zombies are even trying to get rid of it, which is interesting. Interesting how it's just going on straight lines. I could have expected to, like, balloon out a bit more. A biomass with too many eyes. Ooh. Aww. Hey, they're all the same, are they? So, does Cybercore do the same thing? Cybercore is a lot cuter about it, because he's a big... Anyway, um, I gotta say, I was expecting more nodes to spawn. And the zombies are actually doing a semi-decent job of stopping this. I know, I... Okay, now the zombies have been... Yeah, I, I don't like that hand anymore. Like, I, I was just... Oh, I was just trying something there, hand. Okay, let's get rid of this hand. It's way too unpredictable. 
I'm, I hope I can get rid of it by using the life deleter. Okay, I can. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? I uh, think is they're putting mountains across. Like, can people even walk up mountains? Apparently the, um, the orcs can. I guess the dwarves can too, so yeah, they can declare war on each other. But apparently the disasters can't, so... I'm just going to put... One thing... Down... Hmm... I kind of feel like... Okay, let's just go back here. And put down another tumor, so we can let it do its thing. More importantly... Does this keep spreading? It's spreading, but there's not more cause it's itself. And same with this, like, I feel like this is not being as effective as I was expecting. Like, in general, these do not seem too effective. Guessing Superpunk is going to be the same. Yes, it is. I feel like they should really spread and create multiple different things, but sure, fair enough. There's a lot of interesting things here. Like, I wonder what else they can do. Like, the game has to have some sort of lasting impression, but, like, how, like, they really need more, like, interactions between empires and stuff, which I know it's still an early access. It definitely is early, but it's definitely been fun already. But, like, interesting. What is their goal? Oh, the humans got wiped out. I didn't even know what they got wiped out by. Wait, what? Oh, the, the bloody, s the mushroom spores I put down ages ago. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't even know what that was. Okay, apparently the mushroom spawns killed them and them. Oh God, I see. So all the places I put mushroom spawns down. I was about to sprout mushrooms, not eventually... Okay, well I guess they died of old age and turned the mushroom people. Gotcha. Well, the, the humans are no more, except for this tiny, tiny glot. They really don't have very much space. However, they are at least you making use of... Um, they are at least making use of the cactuses. And somehow have managed to learn how to farm on the snow. So you know what? Good job, guys. I wish I could give them inspiration. Like, give them really inspiration. Now, more importantly, what happens if I do this? Okay, wait. That one's spraying the best, I think. The pumpkin is spraying the best. I feel like this, I'd really like to see some more loops come up. That's not like they can spawn over things. There's nothing to solve it, but apparently something can solve it. Alright, so if I put this here, what happens? Okay, nothing. It's basically a less effective version of a, of a, of a zombie. But instead of... Um, instead of zombies where they'd spread and get more, this one that sort of doesn't. Interesting. Alright, let's get... I mean... Fair. Okay, but nothing really special. In fact, I should probably get rid of the old human's home. Yeah, that's satisfying. That's very satisfying. Yeah. Okay. Burn it with fire. Gotcha. So, the um, dwarves are still going pretty well. In fact, Real Mountain has basically lived pretty much undisturbed now for the entirety of this of the new modern era. Like, they've done pretty well for themselves. They've researched all five of their, their special technologies. And they're apparently only just now working on roads. I don't know what roads, what are they? I don't even know what those are. Like, roads, like, in between buildings? I can't want to find out what they are, but I think I everyone else. See if anyone else is researching it. Nope, they're researching it too now. I just wonder how far Tech Tree goes. Wait. I need to check, but was that what I thought it was? Okay, so it's it's governance too. But is that humans? They that looks like humans to me. Wait, holy they've got angel wings. 
Chad is good. Are they human? They certainly look human. I sort of feel like they're not going to have a great time there unless I help them out, but... And honestly, since the humans from before sort of died without my input. I bequeath, bequeath upon you some actual land and territory to build on. I realize I probably just killed them, but at the moment I really just need to work out where the fucking um, ground is. There it is. Greenery. And then plants and then trees. Trees and then plants. Alright, are there enough humans alive that they'll take advantage of this? Or will the lava and flame engulf them? There are still humans around. They're human warriors. But there are still humans around. The lava is spreading, slowly engulfing. I do feel like I wasn't as much of a help as I was expecting. Wow! More impressively, the Axe of Zen R Ren Zeth are still alive. However, I'm not going to help them. Because um, I feel like if I do, they will die. Also, what the fudge happened here? How did they even die? They're not entirely dead yet. Oh, the funguses. Okay, they also died the last of those funguses. Um, there's still 400 dwarves arrived, so that's something. Actually, it's like 700 dwarves, so that's fair. The orcs are almost dead. The second colony of humans are actually thriving and they've actually started to build in the desert. So good job. And it looks like the orcs have uh, killed all the humans that are left. So, oh well. All right. So more importantly, what else can we do to screw everything up? Actually, hmm, there's two things I want to do. First of all, if I put this here, Will there, is there any way for the zombies to actually get here? In fact, I don't even know if there's any zombies left. The zombies look very dead. There's a few up there, but they don't seem to have noticed the, the brain, so... Okay, so that brain did nothing. <clears throat> Fair enough. Alright, let's just do this. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. That should be enough. Let's see what happens. Now, thanks to the um, hand from before, I'd be very impressed to see if anyone survives this. Because technically no one should. Unless they manage to make it over to the chicken island. Because I don't think the Grey Goo can make it to Chicken Island, thankfully. Oh! Oh! A single human survived! Oh boy! I am so sorry for what's about to happen! I thought you were dead! Well... I suppose that's... I mean... They're still alive! Yeah, okay. Okay. I feel like this is something that I can't really stop. At this point. Hmm. Or can I through divine light? No. Uh, 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 yeah, no, no, there's, there's no way to stop this, is there? Oh boy. Okay, um, goodbye. 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 And so we have the fall of the very last civilized society of orcs, so it wasn't really that much of a loss to begin with. There is now nowhere that anyone can live except for 
The best sound in creation! Whoop whoop! Chicken Crook Island! Anyway, thank you all for joining me next time. Uh, this time on my Mountain of Shame. Um, we killed everything, so... Yep, that's, that's about right. I think I tried out most of the buttons, though. So there's that. It still looks like there's more buttons to unlock, and it would be quite interesting if they increase the amount of ways that they can, like, the, they can interact with each other, you know? So overall, it was quite interesting. There are still some people alive, amazingly. Like, there's Shaman here. Like, I am quite surprised that anyone managed to survive that, come to think of it. In fact, there's actually some... Is That's the source, and there's one. Okay. Good good job, guys. Um, let's see if there's any other survivors. Okay. Um, I think those are, those are zombies. I think those are the zombie... Um, nope, those are piranhas. I thought they were zombie um, hyenas I made before. Okay, let's see if there's any other... Oh. There is a there's a survivor of some description. Okay. There's a survivor there. Now I'm you that life is very hard to uh entirely extinguish, doesn't it? There's some more Wait, oh no. Oh no. All the fungal spores are still alive too. Oh no. The fungal spores still live, actually. Are they the only things that made survive by this one? Oh no, there is another walk there. There you go, guys. Have a town. Um, I'm quite impressed with anyone who actually managed to survive at the moment, that's all I can say. The new kingdom of Zekreg. I mean, honestly, I am just impressed that anyone was able to survive. Who are you guys? War, war orcs or dwarves actually? Yeah, dwarves. I mean, there's still people in the water. So, fair enough. The humans are definitely dead though. Like, I think there's no way, there's no, there's no point in time where the humans are anything but dead after I flooded their entire everything. I still think the world is in a pretty bad place, to be honest, but at least we have... At least we have the glory that it is. Chicken Croc Island. Or Croc O'Clock. Okay, this is really the end. Um, there might be more to this, I don't know at the moment. Interesting, fun little toy sandbox. Um, will it get any better? I hope it gets a lot of interest. There are a lot of ways that they could really make things play together. I'd like to see a little bit more on the whole timelines thing. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't um, hate it if I saw some future tech and I then go into the into more modern eras and maybe even making peace with some other empires. Like, why can't there be an empire of elves and men? Why can't they live together? Why can't we see like little, um, like classes spawn? You know, I feel like there's a lot of lot of potential here, and I'm really looking forward to seeing where it goes. But anyway. Thank you very much for joining me on my shameless dive today. If you like what you see here, pick it up. Otherwise, wait for it to come out to early access. I'll put the link in the description down below if you like what you see. Um, otherwise, thank you for joining me, and goodbye.